Welcome to Two Small Biz Guys, Biz Buds. Stay tuned for an exciting small business discussion that will empower your business. And don't forget your free download of Ray's Crib Notes. Now, on with the show. Hi, and welcome to Two Small Biz Guys, sponsored by Pro Peer Advisory Board. I'm Zen, and I'm Ray. And together, we're going to discuss the topic for the day, which is a 12-week year. And I want to make sure that you know, we're going to discuss it in very short order. What you want to do is get the crib notes that Ray put together on the book. And you can get those at propres.com forward slash 12 hyphen week. That's P-R-O-P-R-E-S dot com 12 forward slash 12 hyphen week. Now week is W. E E K. Oh, not yeah. This is not a week subject. This a, you're absolutely. We're right, talking about the twelve week year, right? right? Well, this is an interesting book. It's one of the better business books I read, and I don't know if it's good or bad. But I read one a month. <laughs> so, well, but, uh, considering you know you're still doing that at eighty years old, I think that's phenomenal. Yeah, well, I keep it up on stuff. Good pair of glasses. Yeah, exactly. So, Large as a print. Well, and and you you know you've been doing these peer advisory reports for almost 30 years now no not quite not quite okay well i'm giving you some credit but part of that i'm sure from your perspective is you want to keep on top of things so that you can be the best facilitator possible right but i also think it's important one that's one of the aspects of being part of a peer advisory board and i don't know i don't want to give all the advertising but makes you think differently (laughs) makes you think differently and you have to be aware what's going on now, the book we're going to talk about today, the 12 week year, I thought it was very interesting because this author is, says that the, the 12 month year is not really the way to run your business. Now, there's some pros and cons on that because no, we were talking before. Yeah, the 12 years or 12 months, that's a long time. Right. And people thinking, you know, even the average person and business owners included, you know, that's a long-term goal when you really want to focus on short-term goals and activities. Well, it's the activities to get you there. But if, but actually the 12-week year, if he's, he's talking about breaking your business down into 12-week increments, which is really a quarter. Mm-hmm. And in that quarter, you set what are your two or three or four goals max as to what you really want to accomplish. But the reason he talks about using that instead of the 12-month year is that many times if you get behind, you just get turned off and you really, or you just said, redo your, you know, your activity. But a lot of people on working for a year get turned off on the motivation or sometimes if they're making it, they just kind of slide and they slow. And motivation is key. You've got to have that emotional attachment to, you know, the activity and, and the results and the drive right. that you need in order right. to get there. Right. Well, People talk about most of these things in terms of sales revenue because that's always the easiest. But this kind of drives drive, business in yeah. most cases, right? Well, it drives business. Yes, yeah. it does drive business. I mean, you can cut costs as much as you want, but you still got to have the revenues. But the aspect is you can use these type of strategy, whether it be in sales or production or service levels, whatever your criteria is, it's going to enhance the situation of your business. So, for example, if you want to take service level, you mm-hmm. say, okay, where do we want to be in 12 weeks from now on our service level? Where are we now? And one of the aspects that you mentioned before is measurement. And you have to measure. And I think you had a quote on measurement too. Oh, there was. Um, I shouldn't, ask those, shouldn't ask those hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I think it was uh, something that, from Edward Deming. Yeah. Right? He says, you know, um, in God we trust, all others bring data. And you can, and data means your measurements, and you can't right. achieve things without measurement. Right. Well, one of the aspects is they say if you don't measure, you can't manage. Mm-hmm. And, and the, so the measurements are really a means of measuring where you're going and managing something. But going back to the concepts, and I think this book is really one on driving execution. So the aspect is what is execution? Is execution just getting stuff done, or is it getting the right stuff done? Well, maybe you'd think it'd be getting the right stuff done because you've you've got to know what you need to do. You have to plan, not just plan, but you have to strategize what your activities are that are going to produce the results. Oh, somebody's been talking to you. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and we haven't talked about it yet, but the leading and lagging 
indicators. You know, we think that the results, we say, okay, where are we at? How, what, how did we do? <clears throat> and that that's a leading in indicator when it really isn't. It's a lagging indicator because it's based on the results that you've gotten, not the activities to get there. Okay. Well, I, th I thought that was the most interesting part is that you know, people always talk about if you go around and ask business owners, what's the leading indicator? They say, well, my revenues. Mm -hmm. But what there really is. <coughs> wrong. Wrong. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. But I think that the aspect is that the leading indicators are really the actions that you take to get the revenues. So if you were to say that I'm going to be a salesman on the street, for example, and my goal is to make so many phone calls a day, you can measure whether you make your phone calls. Right. You can measure whether you're getting your appointments. And those are the activities and, and the results of those immediate activities. Right. If you say my goal is not to do it that way, but I want to do it by internet, you can say, I'm going to put up so many messages, or I'm going to contact so many people. Mm -hmm. So no matter what your strategy is, you can create the activities to get you there. Now, some people call these habits. Some people call them activities. But it's really, what are those things that you can measure that you should be doing that's going to get you there? And, and, and I would have to say also that it's not just that. It's the, um, the commitment, you know, the, the accountability. And we think account accountability, you know, is uh, something that you beat people over the head over to be accountable for, for something. Well, it really isn't. It's telling, it's saying what you're going to do and then making sure that you do that. Well, in a small, as a small business owner, you're accountable to yourself. So basically, it's a question as to whether you have the initiative and the motivation to really do these things. But as a small business owner, how many do you know that beat themselves up internally because they don't achieve what they thought they well, could? Well, you know, the question is, does beating yourself up really get you there? Well, no, it doesn't. That, and that's my point. But it's something that we all do. But I think the aspect is if you don't get there, let's say in the first 12 weeks, you're not there. Now that you got, you're going to reset the clock for the next 12 weeks. And hopefully you've learned from those first 12 weeks when you didn't get to the activities or didn't get to the goal, mm -hmm. uh, that you now say, okay, what are the corrective actions I have to take in the next time period to really get there? So now it gives the opportunity to look back, think as to what you really can do, what is most effective for you, both from a habit point of view and from an activity point of view. Mm -hmm. The other aspect is, is what, going back to peer boards to put a small plug in, is that you do create accountability. So there is a peer pressure sure. uh, of saying, okay, uh, as a facilitator, you say, I'm going to get you to be your mentor and your tour yeah. mentor. So I can torment you and say, Zen, did you really do what you said you wanted to do? Did you really get there? But in 12 weeks, you know, if you don't get there, all is not lost. You reset the clock and say, okay, I'm going to move to the next 12 weeks. And you start over. Right. And then you go back and really study what are the things I have to execute, not the things I have to do. Maybe, maybe we use the term before killing with the execution. Right. These are the things you really got to kill to get done. You say, I'm yeah. going to really do these, and you keep track of them. And small business owners are, you know, it's kind of the shotgun effect because you feel like you're, you've got so many things to, that you must do, and you get busy doing those things, whether they're the right or wrong things, you really don't know because you don't have the laser focus that you need to with the activities that you strategize and plan and execute. Okay, but you use a critical word there. You use the word, things I must do. Mm -hmm. And as a small business owner, when you think about all the things you do do, are they things you really do? That's a lot of do-do. That's, right, that's right, you gotta watch your stuff. Yeah. There's a lot, so many things about the things you really must do, and things that you should do. And the other things you either delegate, put them on the side, have a lower you know, importance, because if you really want to get to where what your, really your goals are, whether it be income goals, life goals, or freedom, you know, have more free time, you really have to hit these goals to get you there. Right. Now, the book actually has this in more definition and high definition, but Ray is actually taking the book and truncated it into his crib notes. And I got to tell you, I've been reading Ray's crib notes for, what, four years now? and they are excellent. So I'd advise that you make sure you get these. They are at, and this is a free download, by the way. They are Did at, you say free? I said free. That's F-R-E-E. Yeah. Uh, that's procres.com forward slash 
12-week. That's P-R-O-P-R-E-S dot com forward slash 12 hyphen week. And all you got to do is put your information in and you'll get a free download right afterwards. So back to the topic. Um, you know, the accountability is ownership, right? When, when we're talking about accountability, you, you own internally as a small business owner, you know, you're not accountable to anybody else in, in the immediate frame, right? You're accountable to your bank and your customers and things like that. But as far as the activities that you do to get your job done. Well, you're accountable to respect, okay, you're accountable to yourself, but also you are creating the strategy. Maybe if others help you formulate the strategy. Which is what the main yeah. aspect of a peer board is. Right. I mean, you, you know, we get so monofocused and, and tunnel vision and so close to what we need to do that we rarely can step back and look at it objectively, which is really where those other views from the peer board members can well, truly assist. Well, they, well, they help a tremendous amount. But going back to your aspect of accountability, if you make up the goals or the actions or the strategy, mm -hmm. you have the accountability to, re to go out there and achieve them. And it was, whether it's making phone calls or whether it's sending emails out or whether it's going to a certain networking event and coming back with, say, two connections or two, con mm -hmm. not connections, but two connectors. Right. Uh, you, if I may put that on pause for just a, mention, just a minute and mention networking meetings, a lot of folks feel like, hey, I want to go there and get as many business cards as I can, and then they come back and rarely do they do anything well, with them. It's, it's the follow-up. You're looking for those key strategic partners, if you will, that can help you move your business forward, not the numbers, not quality or quantity. It's quality that you need. Right. Well, you're looking for connectors. The best right. part of bringing back all those business cards is it keeps your crash removal person in person in business. <laughs> so you are, you are doing something for the community. Right. But, but the aspect is you when you go to a networking event, you should have a purpose as to why you go there. This is a side issue. Well, it's an activity. Yeah. It's a, well, if that's right, if it's part of your strategy or activity, exactly. you want to go there and you have to have a purpose as to why you're going there. You should say, okay, what am I going to accomplish today if I go there? Did I really accomplish it? How am I going to go about doing that? So you require some forward thinking and planning mm -hmm. rather than just saying, here I am, ta-da, and uh, expect things to happen. So well, speaking of expecting things to happen, I know we wanted to kind of truncate this discussion here. Just keep in mind that execution systems, and especially this one, it breaks down into three principles and five disciplines. Ooh. Each one of those, Ray discusses more in his crib notes. Again, to download those for free, you can get them at ProPres.com forward slash 12 hyphen week. And we thank you for tuning in. And Ray, it's been a pleasure. Mm -hmm. We're going to do more of these and uh, provide some really great information for small business owners. And yeah, happy reading. It's only the crib notes are maybe anywhere from six to ten pages. So it's instead fine. of reading now, a 200 or 300 page book, you yeah. condense it down. And people love to point out my typos. Oh, they do. I do that all the time. <laughs> all right. Again, I'm Zen. And Ray. And happy reading. Hey, thanks for watching Two Small Biz Guys Biz Buzz, brought to you by Pro Peer Advisory Board. Stay tuned for more exciting small business discussions in future episodes. And don't forget your free download of Ray's Crypt Notes for this show. See you next time.